You're listening to the Screen Team on 930 KWOC. Are you okay? I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm going to make him an offer again with you. Toto? I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. To infinity and beyond! Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Please, what does it always mean? This, this Junior. That's his name. Henry Jones Junior. Like Indiana. We named the dog Indiana. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. I am your father. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Bond. James Bond. And now the screen team on News Radio 930 KWOC. And we're back with the screen team here on today's talk 930 KWOC and 93.3 FM. We got a great show for you uh, this evening. Kind of kind of getting you ready for the big uh, Halloween uh, event going on uh, uh, in a couple weeks and we got uh, Matt and we got Kyle here and uh, guys are you ready to uh, do some reviewing of some movies this uh, this weekend? Let's get it. All right. Absolutely. Uh Matt, you have uh, the picks this week and uh, you've done uh, a bunch of creepy films, man. Well, it is Halloween season, yeah. man. So uh, had your, to go for it. Your, your first one is uh, Monster Squad, and the uh, next one is Devil's Knot, and our final one will be Annabelle, right? That's correct. All right, man. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about Monster Squad. This one's uh, this one's a classic, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's one of those that kind of went under the radar. It's um, you know about these kids that are kind of like the Goonies. It came out a little after the Goonies, and it's like if you did a monster mashup with Universal Monsters mm-hmm. and the kids from the Goonies. It's a lot of fun movie that I grew up watching as a kid. Um, I will throw out there a disclaimer that there is some you know inappropriate language by the kids. Yes, there is. Politically incorrect <laughs> awesome. by today's standards, yes. totally, that you would not see. So again, it's like the Goonies, you know? Yeah. Um, so this is a movie I, you know, probably a PG-13, I would say. You know, don't let uh, two young kids watch this one. But um, it follows this group of monster enthusiasts that are all, you know, they, they, they share that common interest. And it just so happens, what luck, that Dracula's trying to bring the forces of darkness back to life in their small little town. And they have to stop them, you know, this group of kids. Uh, growing up as a kid, it was the biggest fantasy ever, you know. Right. Uh, all my cousins and I would gather around Halloween and watch this movie. We'd all fight over who gets to be Rudy and, you know, pretending and stuff. <laughs> He was the cool one. He was the cool one, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've, I've got two two big memories uh, of this film. My first memory is, uh, as a child, I remember my parents rented this movie, and I was seven or eight at the time or whatever. I couldn't watch it because I was scared. Cause oh, a, no kidding. Because I'm a big baby. I'm just going to admit it for you guys. But there are no dolls uh, in this film. Well... Uh, I was just I've grown in my in my, uh, <laughs> in, in my things that I'm scared of but at the time I couldn't I couldn't finish uh, I couldn't finish the film so in between then and now I'd see little scenes here and there kind of thing so this was actually the first time I actually got to watch this movie in its entirety oh no so, kidding so I thought uh, you know it's, this movie's gonna be okay but it's gonna be you know kind of cheesy and lame it, which it is in some parts but sure what what really kind of blew my mind was how funny this movie was and a lot of the dialogue, like you said, was a little little racy, and I was like, "Wow, wow, that they, they just said that." Yeah, <laughs> that, I that's awesome. It. Yeah, I could. Yeah, like going back on, it, I knew as a kid, you know, because as a kid, you like the stuff that is dangerous that you're not supposed to do. Right. Not condoning that by any means, but you know, it was just it was cool to live vicariously through some of these characters when I was younger, and to go back and watch it now, I was like, "How did I get away with watching this?" Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite lines in the whole movie is uh, the two kids there in the principal's office or something like that when they get done. <laughs> I forgot what the what the line was, but it was something to the effect of, "Man, he smells like the 1940s." Or something <laughs> yeah. like that. <laughs> it was totally. great, man. Uh, Kyle, what were your thoughts? On this I had film? never heard of this movie until um, a couple years ago. A friend of mine, who's a big uh, '80s guy, he told me he's like, "This is a complete, it's a classic movie, but it went, it flew under the radar. It's yeah. a definite cult classic. You got to check it out sometime." But it reminds you of the Goonies. And I went in. I thought, you know, I figure it's probably has some campy, corny. stuff typical 80s humor yeah. had no idea that the kids would be so uh foul mouthed and number one that <laughs> that blew my mind and um number two is just a genuinely funny film i'm upset that i didn't grow up with a film like this i never heard of it yeah it's um it, it's gained more of an audience over the years it's a cult favorite obviously um another movie that fred decker the director 
also did was uh, Night of the Creeps, which I recommend to anyone. It's more R-rated, though, so yeah. definitely don't watch that with the kids. But this one, you got to really see a movie that I think should have had a bigger audience. And Tom Noonan, who played Frankenstein, you know, a really good you know uh, actor. He had been Francis Dollar Hyde in the original adaptation of um, Red Dragon as Man- in Manhunter. Yeah. So, you know, really good actor. He talked about it in the behind-the-scenes documentary and said they had really tried to advertise it as, I think, a kid's film instead mm-hmm. of what it really was, which was movie about kids but it wasn't really made directly for kids it's kind of more for like you know an older audience and they should have you know marketed it that way and it probably would have found a larger audience so so let me ask you do you think that's what the issue was with the movie why it didn't get more exposure do you think that might have been one of the main reasons absolutely yeah again it doesn't pretend to be anything but a a good time yeah it's just a really fun movie um if you like monsters especially the classic ones like dracula the wolfman who's also played by uncle rico from uh, no, Napoleon Dynamite. Dynamite. Yeah. Oh, nice. Jonathan Cries, I believe, who were Cries. Nice. And, uh, yeah, so he actually gives a pretty solid performance. There's decent acting throughout the film. Uh, really good uh, werewolf transformation in the phone booth. And uh, the monster creations were done by legend Stan Winston. Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. And uh, so, yeah, it's a, f- as far as the set, the atmosphere, the music, you know, the score to the movie, it's all really well done for, like, a nice little horror movie, you know, and it definitely never strays too far into horror because it stays fun. It's, it stays, um, I think more like what, uh, you consider like a dark or a black comedy yeah. would be. So, yeah, I, 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 I definitely, uh, recommend this to, uh, to, to folks out there. Definitely a good Halloween film, uh, kind of on a, on a off note, universal pictures is, uh, is gearing up and they're, they're doing all their old monster movies again, okay. right. uh, Dracula and Frankenstein, all that kind of stuff, uh, which kind of gets me excited. But, uh, from what I understand, it's not going to be like this, you know, well, like with this right. movie, it was all, you know, it had the, uh, the special effects, you know, makeup on and stuff like that. I think what universal doing is more of like what we're seeing with the Dracula untold, where it's right. more CGI and special effects, which yeah. I've kind of been downer on because I, I love those old kind of practical effects. We're all right. on practical effects. Chris and I hammer this in every segment. We get a chance to talk about it. And this movie really does have terrific practical effects for the low budget that they had. Which was, was, That's why it makes it so uh, so neat and so cool because they, mm-hmm. look, they look so real. They, look real. You know? exactly. they do. Yeah, absolutely. Organic. It looks much better than like a CGI werewolf or yeah. the, the gill man they call him the gill man in the movie by the yeah. way because creatures in the black lagoon is trademarked by universal and this is made by columbia tristar oh, oh right wow. on right on a little tongue in cheek there look at this guy yeah. <laughs> he knows i probably know too much about he this. knows you know yeah. you could be in the monster squad i wanted to be when i was a kid <laughs> confession coming up after the break we're going to review the movie devil's knot it's coming up next on today's talk 9 30 kwoc